Last Friday, an internet debate took place between creationist Kent Hovind and physics graduate, and also he runs a channel on YouTube, goes by the name King Crocoduck. Halfway through the debate, in the exchange, there was a moment of confusion about two objects resembling movement faster than the speed of light without actually moving at the speed of light. King Crocodile give, gave an example and that got reiterated more than once and it just caused a little bit of a confusion. This is not a comment about the debate that took place, I just thought I might be able to make it simpler to understand. If the space between the objects is expanding, then the object is getting, getting further away from each other. If, the, if you and I were standing in a room 10 feet apart and the space between us expanded, we would move. Uh, not necessarily. The space between us is moving. The space between us is moving. Um, in, 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 classical, in the classical sense, um, we would not be moving away from each other. Uh, relativistically, you know, you know, you, relativity is a very different animal than classical mechanics. Um, you know, well, the, you're trying to say the stars are 13.8 billion light years away. Therefore, it took 13.8 billion years. Maybe they're two minutes old, and the space between them expanded to 13.8 billion years, and it did it in, in that case. Years. You wouldn't be able to see them. Well, maybe there's a lot of them we can't see. No, but you would not be able to see them right now. Uh, the, the the star that supposedly was two minutes away from us and then suddenly shot away. Um, we should a be able to see the star that's two light minutes or light years away from us. Um, and then when it shoots away from us, it should become invisible because at that point it's moving faster than the speed of light uh, in order to be able to reach those distances in that amount of time. So if an object is moving faster than the speed of light, the light from that object will never reach us. Is that your observation? Yeah, your... If, it, if it's outside of, that's what it means for it to be outside of the cosmic horizon. Uh, okay. The recessional velocity, the... Casey, you are the one who is violating the laws of physics with your expanding space between two massive objects. No, that's just relativity. You have the mass moving it faster than the speed of light. Somewhere along the line, no, you do. Move. You do not. It's not the mass that's moving faster than the speed of light. It's the space. So does the mass move? Does the star end up further away when this mass is done expanding? Now, granted, in layman's term, I always say if we're sitting in a coffee shop or something and we perceive we see something has moved, shifted from one place to another, then we generally say it's legitimate to say it has moved. But when it comes to physics, there is usually some precision that needs to be taken into account, especially when relativity is involved in the problem presented, which is what Kent and KC was talking about. Consider the following example. I've got this piece of paper right here, and I'm going to mark it right here, and we're going to call that position X. So this right here is position X, as you can see. Now, if I place an object right here on position X itself, and I then, as time goes by, I move it from here to here, then we say that the object has moved from position X, it is no longer in position X. But if the object was here, notice what I'm about to do now. If I shift this piece of paper right here, like this, towards this. Now, for me standing here and for you watching, there is no question that this Rubik's Cube has moved from here to where it is now. But with respect to this piece of paper, it stayed stationary, it is still in position X. So the point I'm trying to get across here is movement can happen without the object itself actually moving. This is why relativity is important. If an observer was standing here where this pen, where this pen is, and I move this, he would say that the Rubik's Cube has moved. But if he was standing here, and the same thing happened, then to him, the Rubik's Cube has not moved unless I push it to a different position other than position X. King Crocodile gave a nice example of a balloon that has a grid in it, and he did it verbally. Can you see how these two coins that I attach to the balloon are on two points of the grid, two separate points? Now, as I inflate the balloon and inhale into it, it looks like the grid is expanding but these two coins are not moving at all. It's true to say that they are moving apart from each other, but they themselves are not moving. They're staying stationary for someone standing on that grid.
Now one last thing, King Crocodile posted this comment on Hovind's comment section. Feel free to pause the screen if you want to read it. But basically it says you've got one spaceship going this direction with 75% the speed of light. And the other one is going the other direction with the same speed. So both of them are not going by the speed of light. It is actually less. 75% the speed of light. But the distance between them, therefore, is changing faster than the speed of light. Actually, 150% the speed of light or 1.5 times the speed of light. Even though both of them are not moving at the speed of light, but that means that if one of them sends a light to the other one, then the speed of light will not be able to compensate for the distance that is increasing faster than the speed of light. So that's it everyone, I hope that makes it clear. Thank you so much for watching, I'll see you next time.